Oh, welcome Capricorn to your mid-November reading. We are going to get right into the tarot, but first I want to see what your blocks are. So we're going to see what your blocks are and what you need to reconnect, reconnect with. So let's go ahead and grab a card for you guys. Okay, you got two. We have follow your passion. If there's something that excites you and motivates you, it's a message from your Akashic record that it can lead to your abundance. Don't silence it. I don't know what that word is, but it's A-K-A-C-H-I-C record. I have to look that up still. Okay, reach out. You've isolated yourself and are trying to do everything on your own. It's okay to ask for help, so reach out to ask for support at this time. So this is what your blocks are. And then this is what you need to reconnect with. All right. What does Capricorn need to reconnect with? Ooh, you decide. Your message is when you give yourself freely, you expand your energy. If you only give to get, it will feel like a burden or drain. Be genuine. Give from the heart you decide okay these are your messages here so let's get right into the tarot and see what is going on what's coming through for you guys what's coming through for capricorn for mid-november hmm, some conflict five of swords can feel like a sense of defeat feeling drained i need to protect your energy from people that make you feel defeated or feel drained Six of Swords is, is stating that there is a resolution and moving on from something here. And then the overall energy is that Ten of Pentacles energy, which is beautiful. Because that's a good sign that things are about to get moving. Great opportunities are coming in that has long-term success and wealth. So Ten, of, ten of, uh, of Rings is like accomplishments. A big deal. Very big deal. We have the seven of pentacles in your energy this person has the two of pentacles or this whatever's coming towards you the nine of pentacles judgment this person i feel is feeling a loss here and it does look like there may be something here that kind of um like shocks you in the near future okay there's something here may have already happened but i am seeing an energy of the tower so the tower is a. Uh, it's coming out of nowhere really it's kind of unexpected this person is thinking about messaging you on um, because they are feeling you know a loss so something unexpected could be coming your way but the challenge is i need to reevaluate being okay to be independent being okay to be more in that single role which i feel a lot of you guys are but it's feeling whole within yourself uh with or without a person right or it, with or without being in a relationship there's a lot of investment and in nurturing into something, which means this is the fruit of your labor here with the Seven of Pentacles. But there is something here with communicate coming together, but there are also can be other energies as to why things are coming to an end or things are changing here. And then we do have this Page of Pentacles, which does represent opportunity. Okay, it could represent messages or a fresh energy coming in or somebody like a strong desire for, you know, stability. But something here is leading up, like so whatever this offer is, it's leading up to that Ten of Pentacles. But there is something that still feels a bit, you know, in the mind here with that Nine of Swords. Someone is very up and down. They're not prioritizing here. But let's go ahead. Let's get right into it. Let's clarify this Two of Pentacles energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Capricorn, Ten of Cups. Someone is really struggling. They're feeling disconnected. They are coming in very logical and kind of cold when they think about this, but they're in and out of that feeling, like hot and cold. 
they're having trouble within how they're feeling. Um, they're feeling detached. They're feeling different. They're feeling like something's just going wrong. There's a distance between you two. Um, so they are trying to think more logical in the situation. I feel like you invested uh, your whole heart into something here. You really, really did with that King of Cups energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. You guys could have water in your chart. I do also see new love too. But it does feel like your heart though is like your cup is full, you know, and it's like the challenge was just that you invest and you invest and something drained you, something felt defeated. Yeah, I feel like you're needing to trust your wisdom here because you are on the right path. It's just there's things here that you that's out of your control. So that's what I feel like with the five of swords. There's no winners here and you know, there's no competition, right? So there's like a sense of like wanting something that you invested in because of so much time with that seven of pentacles and and I feel like now you're just letting go of control because it does look like you are mentally moving on from something. There's like a discovery here. Yeah, because something felt stuck, like a cycle in some way. So I feel like you're unstucking yourself with the Wheel of Fortune. Oh, hey, the re there's something that had repeated patterns in it. So this is now you being open to the new possibilities to bring in new things into your life. Now that could be self-love, that could be new energies. However, this person wants more information on you. They are looking at you as a missed opportunity. They look at you as an opportunity of long-term. They, they feel so like they have this right here, right on their knee. As you can see, could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, another energy, but they feel like you're not giving them this opportunity anymore. So even though they want to communicate with you, there's some things that were said that seems very immature and untrue that it kind of feels like you don't want to invest in this anymore because something's draining you. Even though your cup is full, even though there's a lot of emotions here for this person, it just doesn't feel, it feels like a defeat more than anything. And it feels like you're needing to mentally move on from something to, uh, from this energy. Somebody here is having a lot of doubt of making a decision. They're nervous to make, they're scared that they made the wrong decision or they are going to make the wrong decision because they are feeling very lonely and feeling this loss. And they are looking at you as this missed opportunity. We do have the Empress energy. This could represent marriage, but it feels like there's in a sense of this Empress just being exhausted. Um, this also can be, you know, uh, when the, I'm sorry, when the Empress is in the reverse, this is a more need for self care. Okay. Someone feeling unfulfilled, someone feeling like they're needing new ways or they need to find ways to spark their life up again. So it looks like somebody may be feeling down here. And then we do have the tower in the near future with that five of cups in the reverse. Ooh, with the queen of wands in the reverse. I feel like you are being very true to yourself. This energy here with the temperance is so beautiful because this is all about patience and doing things in moderation. Okay, allowing things to, allowing your intuition and your guides to guide you through this. Letting go of all control, right? And just trusting your inner self here. Because we do have you recovering with that five of cups in the reverse, you know, no more focusing on the negative anymore. This is you, you know, feeling frustrated, but releasing some blockages, knowing that life will get better by your, by changing. And also your perspective shift is changing here too. And there is a sense of you being true to yourself, you know, and there might have been some feelings of, um, you know, not, not feeling confident, right? Self-doubting your worth here too. So I do feel that you are being true to yourself here, but this tower did do a number on you for sure. That's why I feel like you're just recovering from this disappointment. And now we have your angels, the temperance coming in, which I love to see the temperance because this is showing that there's balance coming in and it all has to do with having patience and purpose 
and try to find their middle ground um, with this, okay? Because rewards come with your patience. And I love that. And so I feel like with this reading, you're not settle, settling for less. I feel like you're, no, you don't like waiting on energies. <laughs> you don't like, you know, um, investing in things that are not growing. So I feel like that's why things are changing for you here. And this is like what you're wanting and what you're going to get because you're attracting it and you're opening up to new offers, new opportunities here that is taking you to this 10 of pentacles. And again, this is completion. This is about home, family, investment, career, long-term relationships, wealth, and it's all due to your making your choices for your higher self, okay? And dedication and determination. So it is a promise of having it all in the end. All right, so that's, you're not wanting to settle for less when it comes to this energy, for sure. And that's why I feel temperance is here. Even though the situation feels unclear even though it feels unfair it feels like there's no closure here and that's what can feel like there's just an injustice just feeling upset because things are not you know it's like you're feeling like you're you know that you were wronged and this person is not taking accountability of something for some of you guys could be feeling that way so yes that's why it can feel so difficult you know to move on without somebody apologizing or someone feeling like you know they they're they're okay of losing you in a way not saying that they are but just that's how it that what i'm feeling here in the outcome but who you're dealing with is a person who is very immature emotionally they don't know how to balance or control their emotions they don't know how to um you know communicate properly this is a very immature energy who you know is coming off very selfish in the reading but the Knight of Cups is like wishy-washy. It's not like they don't care, but it's also they don't care enough about themselves either. You know, they don't care enough about themselves. They That's why they act this way. They have, they're showing insecurity. They're showing um, like they, they, they're showing that they have to use this energy of the Knight of Cups, which is kind of, you know, doing things for their personal gain, like a temporary kind of love like doing things to get what they want you know like player like energy and they act like this because of their own insecurities and them feeling less than others so that's why i feel like you're just dealing with an immature person who doesn't even know how to communicate properly or you know regulate their emotions or you know even they neglect their own selves you know so that's what i'm getting here for you guys um, so in the near future, it does look like there is a recovery of something that, you know, that really hurt and there is coming out of something here too, because there's a sense of being defeated and there is coming to an end and change is coming. Ten of Pentacles is here, which is so abundant within itself. So let's go ahead and let me grab the oracles. I have not grabbed these in a while, so I feel like grabbing these for you guys. Ooh, give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership and stay optimistic about your love life. Okay, positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. Then we have deception, you guys. Someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship. So there may be something that you have tried to work on, you know, gave many chances to, you know, but also it's like tried to be positive, but there is deception. That's why I feel with the Queen of Wands here, there's a sense of like, you got to see what this mask is, you know, you can't ignore that mask, you know, so I do see that's what you're seeing there. Um, so that is your love messages the romantic oracle messages here there is just deception this is their messages to you i need more time to think overwhelmed the stress from this is draining me and what else do we have capricorn i have to take care of my financial and emotional needs which they have a hard time doing and then absence absence i feel like I feel like a part of me is missing without you. I feel pain for the damage I have caused because there was deceit. There was a mask. And that's what that, you know, that that Knight of Cups is. It's a mask. And I feel like that's what you're moving away from. And you're, you're seeing that. 
okay? Because I feel like you're more putting an effort in things that are gonna grow, maybe distracting yourself with work or other things here too. But I feel like you're just needing a break from this because this charming energy can come in and out of your life and disturb your peace for sure and then not take accountability in the end. So it's like how many, like it seems like you gave this person maybe more than one chance, uh, maybe multiple chances, you know? Try to be positive about the situation, but there was deception here, definitely. Okay, guys? All right. So let's go ahead and close out the reading with your love message and see what's coming through. We have time. You are trying too hard. Give it time. I look at this card as don't try to force things. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing here. That's what I put here on the card. I don't know if you can see it. Come on, right there, my little writing. But I'm gonna go ahead and leave this here for you guys. We also have another message here. Let there be closeness between you, but always give each other space. Love never claims it, simply allows and gives. Yeah, just that kind of goes with don't force things, right? Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave this here. Don't forget your messages. If you guys want to look up, I don't know how to say that word. I'm gonna have to learn how to say that word eventually, but Maybe you guys can go ahead and screenshot that so you can look that up for yourselves. Okay. I don't know what that is. And then, uh, so that's what's blocking you. And then this is what, this is what your message you need to reconnect with. Okay. All right, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and leave it there. I hope you enjoyed this message. I hope it helped and brought clarity. And if it did, please like and subscribe. And I will see you guys very, very soon. God bless.